Hello. For a new challenge, I'm going to play Kenshi as the Doge, a bone dog. There's a normal start in Kenshi called the man and his dog. However, at the beginning of this playthrough, the man will be dismissed because he is not a dog. And this playthrough is about only a dog. So this will be a truly solo endeavor. Short? Definitely. So prepare your fursuit as we dive into a new canine endeavor. Now before I begin playing, I just want to establish that there really is no end goal in Kenshi. This game, much like real life, is about nothing. In the words of the famous gamer, Abraham Lincoln, life is meaningless, but Kenshi is definitely one of the best games I have ever played. Any goals you set are entirely up to you, and the parameters of success and failure are dependent entirely on your own real life values. Unless you value kicking people, which is entirely plausible in Kenshi. Head kicking is at an all-time high, unless you enjoy eating thighs, in which case you will find yourself feeling refreshed every day. So here we commence our spiritual journey into doghood. In researching this video, I stumbled upon Reddit. In the words of one Redditor, playing as a dog is a fun idea, but extremely limiting in practice. You can't talk to anyone, and you can't do almost anything. That means no healing, no looting, no wearing armor, even if there was dog armor, no recruiting anyone, even other dogs, etc. You can't even do things that you logically should be able to do, like eating the meat of animals you kill, or even go to sleep, because sleeping requires a bed, and dogs can't interact with beds unless someone forces them into one. In response, you say extremely limiting, but we cannot focus on comparing a dog's life to that of a white male Greenlander straight out of college. Kenshi is a open world RPG where we control the story. This is a story that needs to be told. Now we've spawned in as a bone dog. We lucked out in a fairly convenient spot between the United Cities and the Holy Nation. There's a civil war going on right about here. And it's just us. We're very hungry. We're currently a pup bone dog. This isn't good in any way. It's going to take us 16 days to grow into like a teenage, middle age bone dog. If we survive to 24 days, we become an adult. And if we survive 44, then we become an elder bone dog. It's quite a long time here though. Our stats are nothing to begin with. We're just starving. That's all that we have. We're nothing and we're starving. Look at this. Look, go on dog. Go. Go dog, go. The dog, look, the dog can't even open a door. It's so dumb. We'll name it something not suspicious like, definitely not a dog. What are you talking about? Okay, we didn't have enough characters, but this idea is there. So since we're a pup, our stats aren't showing up on our uh, indicator. However, we have 17 athletics and we are gaining some skill as we run along. So we can make our way out here. Currently we're running at seven miles an hour. Maybe we could bring that up to eight or nine right now. That's pretty awful. If anyone decides that they want to kill us, we can't really do anything. We just sort of have to accept it. We can't hold anything in our inventory. We can't even eat food. We can't move items between in and out of an inventory. But what we can do is this. So there's a lot of fighting going on over there. Obviously you can see. It appears as if, uh, who is that? That's the Samurai Scouts. So the United Cities and the Holy Nation are currently at war. Uh, they're going to keep killing each other for the next few days. And what we can do over here, it looks like that there's a corpse of a holy nation person right there, but the holy nation is winning, so I'm just gonna approach with some caution here. Now, we've gotta wait until a pretty even fight, or until we at least find a loser. Okay, it looks like the United Cities lost this one by a lot. So there's a sa uh, whoops. There's a samurai conscript. He's gonna get He's gonna get his shit pushed in. Look at that. But this guy, okay, that guy got up too. Maybe this guy. Okay, we lucked out. They're distracted. Anyway, we can start eating this guy's right leg because he does. We need it more than he does. Look, I'm starving. I'll die if I don't get it. Give me that. That's gonna be mine now. So once we get this leg to negative 100 and... Right there, that's great. Okay, we just got ourselves a meal. Although this man is going to be eaten alive, we'll eventually walk away from this with a leg. I think we need one more. And there it is. Okay, he got it. Great. Oh, now... Okay, now, so now the dog is said to be playing limbs. See right there, playing limbs. And what this will do, as soon as he's done frolicking around, uh, my hunger will start stop getting worse. Because otherwise we'll just starve to death. And so he will run along. Okay, there we go, we got a meal. 
and hunger is going up. Hunger is going to stay at 170. For some reason, this is the highest that his hunger can go. But it means that we're not starving, which is great. That's fantastic. And would you look at that? We've already made it up to level 18. Yes, 18. That's right. Uh, athletics. We were at 17 at the beginning. However, it's only been a couple hours. So for now, he's just going to passively kind of go around and keep on seeking other corpses. Uh, I mean people um to chew upon okay some time has passed you might notice that our uh, stats have gone up a bit as we've aged day by day our head stomach chest and forelegs and rear legs as the days have gone on we've actually improved our combat stats so now we have more hit points on all of our body parts this is just normal dog maturation everything you would expect and uh we've avoided any unwanted attention with the squad name definitely not a dog move along so now we can just keep on devouring human corpses as we move through the desert and while it's not the most exciting process in a few days yes he will become drunk doge because currently pups are just terrible at everything but i will actually physically grow in size you can see sometimes people see when i'm trying to devour them and then they get up and run away we could fight them except i did get into a fight before oh see his stats just went up to 77 so it happens very gradually but if you do get into a fight, you can't actually bandage, so if you, like, lose something, it's gone for good, so you need to be really careful. Uh, just make sure that nobody is possibly going to get aggroed by you at all, otherwise you just might have to- you- you might lose a leg for good. I never said it was an easy life. For some reason, he needs to get all of the different body parts. This seems a bit gratuitous to me, but, I mean, there's not much else you can do, it just let it happen. Let it happen. Yeah, sometimes he will eat a corpse until it's just completely gone. Like this. Look, this guy is totally- he's already dead, you, there's no need. But Doge, we respect your- we respect your work. You go on. You go on and do what you need to do now. And so the days pass on. It's been a couple days. It appears as if the dog is just dipping his head into a cliffside. There's actually a person underneath there. Yeah, there we go. I'm sorry, not a person, a hiver soldier. Would you consider it a person? I don't know, it's- I've said more controversial things in the past, I'm not gonna- Alright, well, the bone dog is about to reach, um... It's angsty teenage years, as it turns out. It's at 110 on all the limbs now. I'm not gonna lie, uh, it's- it's been 18 days. I went and- I listened to a few podcasts. Mostly you can just let the dog- I'm gonna- Like, here we go. Yeah, there- the dog finishes with that. And then the dog just, of its own will, just goes and fights other people. Now, can we fight this man? Yeah, this man totally doesn't stand a chance because bone dogs are overpowered as hell. He- we haven't even let him get up. Now, unfortunately, we can get hurt, but it's not that bad because we'll be done with this man long before he's done with us. And there he goes, yes. Great job, Doge. So that's one example of how the bone dog can eat someone's butt. I, I mean, he'll recover eventually, it's fine. And look, we've now actually aged up enough to be considered a teen. I think this happens around, like, 16 days or so. For us, it took a little longer. A little weird, but this just means that our stat multiplier improves slightly. Beyond that, it's kind of hard to tell, but I've actually increased in size considerably as well. The pup bone dog was very small. Stats still don't really match up, but, you know, he has grown. Clearly. Okay, it's gonna be- it's been a few more days. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the power of bone dog again. He does best with, uh, solitary foes. Now the stats have gone up to 125. Look at that. Great job, Bone Dog. Uh, these outlaw farmers are currently in, in a civil war with the Holy... Basically, just everyone that they meet, they fight the Holy Nation out here. So, uh, all these people are going down. And you know what? I'm benefiting from it. For some reason, people go, he's just an animal. He doesn't know any better. I do know better because I'm controlled by a human, you know? So, 125 on each body part. Not bad. Really, I'm doing better than men do. And I'm... I am larger, might even be considered slightly larger than a man now, that's pretty big. Still only a teen, but you know, my other stats have gone up, and it seems like every day or so, my, um, my body parts increase by about one or two, so it's gonna be a while. I'm gonna listen to a few more podcasts now, and back in a few. Okay, here we meet again, just yet another poor unfortunate soul. I think that this bone dog is now devoured, like, probably 50 people. It's still just starving, because that's the way he always will be. We're an adult, and we have 134 on each limb. We're getting pretty powerful. I don't know why that just sometimes happens. Still, everybody seems to be, uh, in a civil war, so... 
We're just kind of, we're benefiting, we're like the scavengers, we just, uh, we kind of thrive off of other people's pain. But I've, uh, I've stayed in Bast and Drin. There's a lot of civil warring going on in here, and it's, it's rather fun for me. Now, I have to double check back on the stats, uh, what their maxima are, but I think we max out as an elder bone dog around 44 days. So it's gonna be quite a while now. There's, uh, it's a long adulthood. But I can grow to become a very large size, and I have- I think it's either 160 or 180 on all my stats. Uh, at that point, we'll go out and start living our life in the world. It's gonna be a considerable amount of time, like 40-something days. Okay, here we are. Day 47. It took longer than I expected, but we're now at 179. I think the cap number is 180. We're about twice the size of a normal man, so we've grown considerably more. I know we- I know he looks the same, but he isn't the same. Please believe me. This is probably the 200th person or so that he's eaten at. I still have no idea how the stats work. It's, uh, what does he have? It says 77 on athletics, but here it says 85. So I don't even really know who to believe. I, I suspect everything is lying to me. Apparently we're very good at turrets and martial arts. That doesn't really make much sense to me though. But you know, I, I think it's a general improvement from where he was at the beginning where it just said zero on everything somehow. Okay, there it is. Finally, an elder bone dog. See, there it says it. Proof. 1.10 times stat multiplier. I don't know who to believe, but we're going to leave this country. We're going to go somewhere else where we can just cause mayhem and turmoil. I think I'll head back to the beginner areas to just find a group of hungry- I want to see if he can solo them now. He's, you know, 180 on each stat. That's no joke. No joke. Nothing funny about that. Uh, I'd like to see if I could up stats more, though. Who are you? Uh, no, that's not hungry. All right, well, we'll stop back when we see some hungry bandits. Fortunately, though, no one hates me because I'm- where did you come from? Unfortunately, skimmers still are stronger than me, but uh, I can outrun them and many other enemies because I've just spent the last 47 days running back and forth between corpses. I don't know why, but maybe this has something to do with it. If you multiply 77 by 1.10 for his elder multiplier, you do get about 85 if you round it off. So, I don't know, I mean, maybe that's... Oh, we are in a hairy situation now. Get out of there, Bone Dog. Get out of there, I believe in you. Good job, Bone Dog. Get away from those. But Kenshi is about fighting people, you know? Or at least to me, that's what it's about. It's about fighting people. You know, I'm only a doge. Let's go help the Holy Nation for absolutely no reason. No one has any reason really to be hostile toward us. I'm hitting 82s faster than any person does. I'm sh I'm even stronger than the Holy Nation, for God's sake. I wouldn't challenge them, to be honest with you, but... Hippity hoppity, I may not be a member of the human race, but for a meal I could eat your face. Oh, there they are. Hungry bandits. Wait a minute, are they armed? Okay, they have a bandit leader, but we need to challenge them. Okay, we'll just test them out. It's one whole group, so... Don't expect the best outcome here. But they won't try to devour me alive if they do beat me. I can't really dodge anything, but is my melee attack going up? It is, in fact, going up. Is my strength? Is my toughness? My toughness is, in fact, going up as I get hit. Okay, so I still can get beat up in the traditional sense. I could run away now, really. If I, I mean, clearly I'm not going to win this fight. We've really... I think we knocked out one bandit and we messed the rest of them up pretty well. I'm- yeah, I might be, uh... I better find a good spot to get pass out right here. I don't think there's any predatory animals besides beak things, which are very few and far between from here. But I could probably micromanage my way- no, I can't. <laughs> I'm wounded, okay, but I can get away from these hungry bandits. And unfortunately, this one has decided that he wants to fight me, so we'll just take him on- and we could probably win this because the game is just so messed up to make animals win every single fight. Look at- he can't even get a single shot in on me. This man tried to eat me. Ah, uh, poetic justice. Well, not really. Uh, it was just kind of unfortunate for him, but... Pretty badly wounded, but we did up our toughness by a bit. So it is completely possible to grind a bone dog this way. You could grind your stats up to like a hundred in each. You'd become an impossible to kill bone dog. Of course, you can't dodge because that skill just doesn't even exist for them. Yeah, one dodge. But you know, our health is coming back faster than I had expected. And nobody really harbors any grudges against me. There's no aggression for bone dogs. People don't li dislike them the same way they dislike people in the game. It's actually a fairly overpowered playthrough. Who are you? Lost drone? Okay, I could take on one guy at a time, I'm sure. Not really for any particular reason. Oh, Jesus. Yep, that guy's done. <laughs> 
Okay, we're eating Hiver now. Onto a, a new pallet. He doesn't really appear to be very hungry for Hiver, though. That's a shame. Oh, I take it back. Yep, he is. He definitely is. Oh, I have an idea. Let's test out a normal Kenshi beginner strategy. Most people are often surprised to find that in Kenshi, the best way to grow and level up is to just attract people to you and then cheaply have the city guards fight them at an early level. It feels like you're cheesing the game, but it's... It's more or less the way that you're supposed to play at the beginning. I haven't really- there's a few alternatives, but let's see if that actually applies to dogs. I mean, like, will the city guards actually fight for me? Let's wait for a group of hungry bandits. In the meantime, we'll recover our health. Okay, there they are. We found a group of hungry bandits. They've got a leader, so they're fairly strong. We know they're about as strong as that last group, so we'll probably lose against these ones. I'm not really counting on a big win, but let's, uh, see if we can attract them back into the city to fight for- or to, rather to be fought by the city guards. Good, good, come on. And yes, they're aggroed inside the city walls. Now, does this cause the guards to come out and try to defend- Guards, guards! Please! Please, guards! And, no, okay. Okay, well, they're, one of them went into the bar. And wow, okay, so although I can't get into the bar, the one who decided to fight them is... Okay, so not really. They, they won't really help you, but you can sort of make it so that the guards will help you fight against hungry bandits. And that's a free meal for us. And more experience. We have melee attack 23. Toughness went up to 28 from 27. We pretty much take nothing but hits. Let's get in on as many fights as we can. No, we, I need that experience, please. But although we can't... We can't really loot the hungry bandits. There's no option. We can devour them. Oh no, this one's not getting away. <laughs> yeah. I mean, grinding our stats with this bone dog would be entirely plausible. <laughs> like, it does its own food. There's nothing really to worry about there because it just eats people. As long as it can win a couple of fights, I think these things can pull their own weight. Yeah, you could totally run just a pack of bone dogs going around and fighting people. Kind of makes me want to run just like a herd of a hundred of them for a playthrough. Now that I've seen what one is capable of. Terrible when they're pups, but they're pretty good when they're elders. You know, come to think of it, you could do that with almost any animal, except for the fact that any other animal can't really eat the way that bone dogs do. So many possibilities. Kenshi is just a trip of the imagination. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other animal challenges you want to see next. I've been thinking of trying a few segments, other things I want to try out with the game, but I think we'll leave it there. Well, until next time, a major thanks to viewers like you. A major thanks to my patrons. They are the limbs that have been entrusted to me. Why does it always come back to limbs whenever we play? I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Until next time.